So we just decided to do the greatest prank ever. It was really good because David had so, so much adrenaline that he barely fit through the door. <laughs> but the problem is, is that he wasted $5 because he dropped I the dropped prize. I wasted there. $5. I should, shouldn't even give you my change. Two hours later. Oh, we just failed at a prank. <laughs> I thought he was going to kill you and Zach, I thought he was just going to drive away. I'm like, he's killing him. I, I should have stopped and just been like, oh, dude, sorry, it's a prank. <laughs> oh, man. I want to talk about the day that I almost got arrested, choked, and uh, I almost died, I guess, uh, by a dumb, silly prank. Um, the full video, you can check it out. It's in the description, and at the end of the video, you can just check it out. The idea is my friend would order his food. He would drop me off. I would put a bandana over my face, and uh, hold on, let me just demonstrate. All right, so I see now that this does look a bit creepy. It does look scary, but that's how I was gonna be looking. And the silly thing is we were trying to do this on camera, trying to record some of it so that we could have some content to laugh at, to look at in the future. But the guy in charge of the camera, he just didn't record. I gave him my camera and I was like, dude, make sure that you record this, this is gonna be funny. This was back when pranks were starting to be really cool before all the pranks started going too insane. Anyways, this is what the prank was about. My friend would drop me off right before the window and keep driving, pay for the food, and as they're reaching to give the food, I'd run up, steal the food, steal, and um, scare the person in thinking that I stole their food. The whole point was that we were gonna just laugh at it and my friend was just gonna drive off, obviously tell them that it was a joke, drive off, and I get in the car, we drive off, right? So <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be something that escalated <laughs> so we do it at carl's jr uh and it goes well and then i think we tried to do it at mcdonald's and it went well and the final place that we were going to go to was this taco shop that um we knew about and they were open late and we we just knew that this was the final place to do it at and well my friend ordered his food i think he ordered like a taco maybe just that's it and uh I, I was gonna get off i put on the mask and i was shaking during all of these i was shaking i was nervous the thing with this is there was a window here a window where you know they're talking them and then there's a window this way so he can see from all sides and i was just hiding hiding myself with this on, of course, me hiding with this. It, of course, it wasn't this. Uh, it was more scarier <laughs> or a regular bandana. Well, the window opens, the food gets given, and I run up, I grab the bag, and I fail miserably by taking it. I can't take it. The guy holds on, grabs it on, and he, like, tries to look at my face. I immediately panic. I'm saying, hey, let go of the food. <sighs> right there is when I knew that everything was wrong. I let go of the bag, of course, and I started running and um, I was waiting for my friend. But the thing is that there was a car that backed up and didn't let my friend go out because they were trying to stop me. The owner comes out, he runs after me. We, I run across the street and I'm like thinking, yo, this is, this is bad. And I'm trying to reach the church, which we're close by, uh, the church that I go to. I don't know why, that was my first instinct. I go and the, the guy finally stops me at a stop sign and he grabs me, he lifts me up. Of course, I still have this on. I, I, my identity is still unknown because I don't have my glasses on and I have this on. The guy takes it down, pulls it down, and he starts talking to me, yelling at me, and I start talking in Spanish, you know, trying to calm him down, but that does nothing. I'm like waiting, seeing where my friend is. This is taking like an hour in my head, but really it's just happening in seconds. Um, he's like telling me, you know, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? What, why are you doing this? And he's furious at this point. And I'm just like, I don't, dude, it was a prank. Era una broma. Era un chiste. I, no sé lo que andamos tratando de hacer. I don't know what we were trying to do, dude. I don't know. We were trying to pull a prank on you guys. And he, my friend, he was, he's part of it. My friend finally pulls up and my friend tells him, hey, it was a prank. And I know it was wrong, but we shouldn't have done this. And I'm like, Please just stop and he lets he lets go. Um, of course, I felt like really scared. I ran back into the car. My friend and me went back into the car and we never wanted to go back to that place. But yeah, that day I almost got arrested. There's the full vlog called I Almost Got Arrested. And I really did fear for my life. I, I was scared for the following months of going there. My family likes going there after church. Like I said, it was close by to the church. I learned my lesson. I wouldn't do it again, but 
I, I'm happy that it happened in my life. I don't know. It's it's silly. <laughs> it's dumb. And I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever done a prank that's gone wrong. Or if you've done something that almost led you to jail. I don't know. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below or make your own video. Whatever it is that you do, make sure that you live life. You do it right. You keep on smiling. Catch you all on the flippity flop. Bye.